I just realized I'm only. I mean, if it's if I'm only gaining 12 MMR game, I guess going up 46 isn't that bad. But I also only have I'm four and four, so. Steel Ball Crawler Rhino. I don't even know if there's a point in looking at anything else. Getting a lot of, a lot of Rhino specialists today. Crawl I've been noticing the Crawler Sledge combination is apparently rated very highly. I think that might be the highest rated combination currently in terms of win rates. Because it it's always seems to have the lowest health. I wonder why it's that. I, I figured it would be um, Sledge Marksman, not Sledge Crawler. But I guess you could go from Sledge Crawler into Sledge Marksman, and then Crawlers are better chaff than Bangs. So it's like... Oh, but that combination actually... Wow, that combination has Crawler, Sledge, and Marksman already because of Marksman Specialist. It might have been that pick. Thinking about it, so I want to go. Want to go horizontal instead of vertical. He's vertical. The 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 ones in the back get hit by the missile shot in the front. Marksman, I think, here? I mean, round two, we're going storm callers, right? Maybe chaff clear? I think it's actually chaff clear and then round two, storm callers. Bruh, move! Damn you. Got it close enough, I guess. Yeah, if you want storm callers right on the front, he might get, he might get first round snipe. Did he save? Going a uh, arc light carry? Yeah, he has range, damage. Uh, yeah, those are the three you want for arc light carry. Playing an arc light carry game. I'm gonna have to get missile defense. I have to get taxed it. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that was that was his round one. Two hundred percent damage on arc lights. And one one plus one arc light. Wait, did he just somehow go four fangs in one round? Or did you just have one in the middle that's Uh, yeah, maybe to kill the steel balls, the impression that I got is he's just committing to, uh, arc light carry game. The 200% the damage increase. Uh, no, that's actually pretty respectable. Still, it's still taking, like, because it doesn't splash, I don't think. It's still taking, like, seven shots, I think? Six shots?
Four shots. It's actually not that bad. I'd actually play flank this game. Fortress here, built. This looks good. Maybe defend against missiles? I don't know if I want to invest that, though. I kind of want to go into Fortress next round. Mustangs to make sure that air can't be used to counter. Crawlers to soak up, like a uh, first wave of damage, make sure that this guy gets in. Haste module to make him gap close faster. Very nice. Next round, grab a fortress, put it over there. Maybe I should have spaced actually, so that I could put the fortress in the back, so that it's not in the front. Having it in the front might not be good. He's then, um... Then he actually has a counter. If it's in the back, here... Mustangs are like here or front here. It's just the, that it made the, the this round, but now future rounds will be worse. Probably heavy armor, and grab the fortress. Even maybe shield here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to play this to its potential. Rhino Specialist is supposed to be one of the better ones. Actually, just right into shield. And maybe add one more pack of crawlers here. Or actually, like, arc light for chaff clear could be good. Dark light for chaff clear. I actually wonder if uh, rank 1 fortress went. Not with the tower down. 
Not with these coming in, I think with... That's not that much. The tower didn't fall. Maybe. Ooh. Juicy! That's a juicy level two. That's a hard one. All of all of these look good. Kind of want to start another flank over here, actually. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Rocket Fist might actually have killed this. Oh? Oh! Hello! I feel like this is good. 25 seconds. Like disable all of those arc lights. Over here. I kind of want storm callers on the flank. I'm being very serious. I kind of like storm callers on the flank here. to do it. Maybe get like fangs. Or I can make this reduce fangs. That's fine too. And maybe I don't want to invest that much just yet. Um... I don't need to upgrade anything over here, I don't think. That looks all good. Save a little bit over something big maybe coming up. Maybe get Exploding Rhino?
Yeah, definitely get the fangs next round. I think I might just actually go into a heavy fang game here? I mean, it seems a little ca- not no. No, it seems a little counterintuitive these arc lights, but like... No, not, not against arc light. Rocket fist. Fang summon. Or just more fangs and, and rocket fist. With shield. Add shield to the fangs. I mean, this is gonna kill this, so it like can get a lot of HP. But I mean, no, this is dealing thirty thousand, right, per rocket fist. Very nice. That damage. Duke's looking pretty good here. Maybe even on this side. I might borrow, get another fortress in play here, and I put another fang. With the rocket fist, it should be enough to deal with this as long as I've cleared everything else out first, which I think I will. hard on those melting points. I'm surprised he hasn't put one, like, wind up with it. Rockfish is not that good over there. Should kill the rockfish, should kill this one. Doesn't even get to that far. On the fortress, probably. I probably drop another fortress over here and get the the fang summoning. Might even have a, a KO move here. I don't know with the fangs though. With wasp.
Uh, I really need the fists to be going out of these. Oh, if I had Marksman with EMP, maybe you just get EMP on this to get the, the range knocked off it. I definitely don't think I'm considering all the options. Like, I could go my own melting point. I could EMP them so that they lose the lock on if, once they get EMP'd. Yeah, the double the double fist. Yeah, no way out of that. Wait, why didn't that one shoot? Did it already shoot its second fist? So I need the EMP at these. How do I make that happen? Am I inting? The hell killed that so fast.
Maybe that should have been a Vulcan. Okay, okay, get the MPs. Uh, it's not gonna be this Wally. Oh no, we got the tower on this set. Oh, we got the tower here. Okay. So I, I decided to get the fortress. Okay. The fortress to protect the Vulcan, the Vulcan to, like, the tier 2 fortress here to protect the Vulcan, the Vulcan to clear the chaff, MP to knock those off. On this side, I got a melting point. These, the arc lights are alive at the end, the arc lights outrange the, the enemy melting point, so arc light EMPs this. I have melting point, fortress, fortress, melting point gets marine, fortress tax, my melting point gets on. There, yeah, okay. Cool. The vision I had in my head came fruition. Thank you, man. Good game. This was a fun one. This one's probably gonna go on YouTube. This was uh very probably the most aggressive flanking I've ever done. I think I might caption it surgical flanking or surgical <laughs> surgical uh Rhino, the way that you were phrased it. Cardalot called it surgical. Said it here. <laughs>